More than a million people were killed in Auschwitz, mostly Jews but also other groups, herded from cattle trucks to the gas chambers in industrialized mass murder. Today, 30 of the few guards still living learned they'll be pursued. Germany's investigator of Nazi crime has sent their files to prosecutors. The accusation is complicity to murder. We are of the opinion that just because they were guards at Auschwitz, they were at least involved in murder. Harry Olmer survived the Holocaust, spending three years in camps from the age of 14. For him, pursuing guards is important. They should be interviewed and they should, they t this story should be told actually to, to the world because no matter what punishment actually ensues to them, they're old men now, but uh, no punishment can actually uh, pay, pay them actually for what they did. This man changed the German legal situation. Former guard John Demjanjuk was extradited from America to face trial. Two years ago, a Munich court ruled that even though there was no evidence he actually killed, just working in a camp meant he'd facilitated murder. In the center of Berlin, there is a memorial to the Holocaust. Those blocks symbolize the immensity of the number of deaths. Some older people, though, fear that for the younger generation, those events are becoming remote. So in Germany, Jewish groups welcomed the decision to pursue guards, no matter how old. The dimensions of this crime were so large that perhaps it simply takes two, three, four generations for society really to come to terms with it. And as there are still survivors, it's not too late. Late, but not too late, it's said on adverts in Berlin to persuade people to give information on war criminals. The crimes were enormous. The perpetrators will be pursued to the grave. Stephen Evans, BBC News, Berlin.